Hi, I'm Dr. Arthur Jenkins. You've just been told that you have a pretty significant cervical disc herniation and that you need surgery. You've come to me because you want an answer to the most important question you can think of. Doc, what would you do if it was your neck? I would say, well, that depends. That depends on three very important things. How bad is your pain and your neurologic dysfunction? How weak are you? What kind of problems are you having walking or controlling your hands? Two, what are the films? What do they show? What's the anatomy? And three, what have you already done? Where are you in the treatment process? What have you tried? What didn't work? Once you know those three things, you can figure out what the next step would be. And you always, I always try to do the next right thing. Now let's say we've gotten through all of the non-surgical treatments and you say, I'm still getting worse or I'm not getting better and I need to be better to get on with whatever it is that makes you you. Well, there are three main treatments that you need to be aware of. The first, old school, cervical discectomy infusion. Take out the disc, replace it with something, with cage or bone graft, put a plate across it, make it heal. The one level doesn't move, the other levels continue to move. The second thing that we could do to treat this is to replace the disc with something that would move very similar to what the other disc used to do that we're taking out. We don't fuse hips anymore. We don't fuse shoulders. Why do we fuse cervical discs? Well, first, cervical discs fusions work really well, but it's a newer technology that allows you to keep some of the range of motion that you have. There's a third option, and this is an option that's often the best option if you have multiple levels involved. Let's say it's not just one or two levels, but it's three, maybe four levels that you've been told you need. Most of the time, what you don't need is an operation from the front because that can be very risky. What you probably need or at least should be evaluated to see if it's a good choice for you, is a procedure called a laminoplasty, where we open up the spine, make it bigger, so that you have room in your spine for your spinal cord and your nerves to be able to function normally. This procedure allows the spine to continue to move, but gives you the decompression that you need to get on with your life. Which procedure is right for you? Come see me to find out. Because at Jenkins Neurospine, we turn patients back into people.